Boys and girls, it's Miss Macintosh again, back with another story problem. You know the drill. First, we need to read our story problem. Next, we'll mark it up, and then we'll solve. I know you're becoming real pros at solving these story problems, so you're gonna help teach me what to do. Here we go. Follow along as I read. Bradley had 53 toy cars. His friend gave him 26 more toy cars. How many toy cars does Bradley have now? <clears throat> Seems like Bradley has lots of toy cars. Let's reread the story problem so that we know how to mark it up and solve. Here we go. Bradley had 53 toy cars. His friend gave him 26 more toy cars. How many toy cars does Bradley have now? Okay, I'm starting to understand the story problem. Now, this is similar to the ones we've had in the past this week. So I know we're gonna know exactly what to do. First, we need to do what to our story problem? Mm -hmm. We need to mark it up. Go ahead and mark up your story problem. I'll mark up mine and we will compare. Make sure you circle the numbers. Make sure you underline your units. And you know I put a cloud around that important word, more. Does your page look like mine? If it does, shout hooray, hooray. Hooray, hooray. Okay, now we get to solve. If Bradley got more toy cars, because his friend was so nice and got him some more, if he got more toy cars, does that mean that my number is going to be bigger or smaller? Show me with your hand. Yeah, it's going to be bigger. Whenever someone gets more, that means my number gets bigger. And if my number gets bigger, am I going to add or subtract? You got it. I'm going to add. So. We can draw lots of circles, but we're not going to do that because that's going to take way too long. And we are first graders moving on to second grade. So we're going to do it the faster way. We are going to count on using tens and ones. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to start with the bigger number because that's the faster way. We can start with the smaller number too, but the bigger number is way faster. So let's do the bigger number first. Which number is bigger? 53, 26, 53, 26, 53 is a bigger number. So we're going to start with the bigger number first. Go ahead and put 53 in a box. Okay, now we need to do what? Mm hmm we need to add it up. That's right, add it up. Oh yeah, put a plus sign to add it up. Next, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, tens and ones, cause that's the faster way. How many tens does 26 have? Show me on your fingers. Ten, so how many ten six do we need to draw? That's right, two, ten six, here we go. One, two, and now I'm gonna write ten inside of each one of them to make sure I double check. One ten and two tens. Okay, now. How many ones does 26 have? 
20 plus two times. Six, six ones. Go ahead and draw six one circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the next step is to count them together. We're going to count on to find our answer. Let's count on, get ready. I'm gonna start with the number 53. Here we go. We're counting on by tens. 53, and we're counting by tens. What comes next? If you said 63, you are so smart. Kiss your brain. What comes after 63 if we're counting by tens? That's right, 73. So we're going to write 73 on top of that 10 stick. But now we're out of tens. So what do we need to do? If you said count the ones, you got it. We're going to count the ones now. But when we count ones, we need to count by ones. So we're starting with 73. Call yourself 73. What comes next? 74. Write it down. Count the rest and tell me what you get. Did you get what I counted? What'd you get? Whisper in my ear. <gasps> I got 79 too! Mm, you're so smart. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh yeah. So how many toy cars does Bradley have now? Bradley has 79 toy cars. 79 toy cars. That's a lot of toy cars. What a lucky kid. Alrighty, we are all done with today's math story problem. Have a great day. Bye.